I was a child of the 90s. Well, I suppose I still am. But because of that, I grew up playing video games. And I played a lot of video games. We had an Amiga, and what felt like thousands of floppy disks, despite only ever playing a handful of those games. And a PC that was good enough to run the most basic of 3D games. And we had Downtown Run, we had Rayman 2 The Great Escape, we played RuneScape, and of course we played LEGO Racers. Now surely there was someone out there that loved these games as much as I did, enough to remake them, right? Well, after some digging I found a post by Maxine Ivanov who, back in 2021, began development on a LEGO Racers remake in Unity. Now unfortunately, after reaching out to Ivanov, it was clear that this project would probably never see the light of day, so it was up to me to take up the challenge. My first challenge was finding as many game assets as I could. Now I couldn't just go into my installation directory and pull them from there, because all you'll find is some random TUN files, the intro videos to LEGO Racers, and that's about it. There's not much to find in the installation directory, apart from one file called lego.jam. There was a small community back in 2011 trying to modify the official 1999 release of LEGO Racers. Unfortunately for them, it looks like the only modifications they were able to make to the game were mostly graphical. But hey, thankfully for me, the tools that they used were still available for download, the most important tool being a jam extractor. LEGO Racers stores all of its assets inside of a lego.jam file. It's an archive containing audio, sprites, track models, racer data, fonts, and pretty much anything else that LEGO Racers uses. So we just drag and drop our lego.jam onto the extractor, and boom! Now we have access to all of the game assets. Or not quite. You see, all of the sprites used in the game are BMP files, BMP standing for bitmap files, which are natively read by Windows, except it seems Windows can't read these. They're all completely useless in this state. So it was back to my new favourite website, Rock Raiders United where they had cracked the issue of non-readable BMP files. But due to the BMP converter being hosted back in 2015, it was no longer available for download. But Slusa had also created a converter, which was still hosted. And alongside some small changes to a batch file, I was able to convert all of the unusable BMP files back to something usable. Here they are, all 1051 sprites used by LEGO Racers. Now that we have all of our sprites, it's finally time to create a scene in Unity. Here you can see the menu that I had thrown together. I was able to source a recreation of the LEGO Racers font on GitHub and rip the circuit videos from the official game. And here you can see a showcase of how the player customization works. I tried to keep the LEGO pieces as true to the original. However, I discovered LEGO Racers had in some cases created LEGO bricks of their own that aren't part of any real world LEGO sets. But you're able to customize a minifig or choose to randomize the parts. You create a driver's license and set your profile name, then you create a vehicle for your profile too. I haven't started on a vehicle customizer yet, but adding in these 56 pre-built vehicles should suffice for now. Now I owe a big thanks to Tom Cock 23 who has remade nearly all of the models found in LEGO Racers, minus the racers who use non-official LEGO pieces in a program called stud.io, which is a virtual LEGO modelling tool. The models he provided has 50 out of 56 vehicles, so I finished off the last 6 as close to the original as I could, and I was able to import these into Unity, which did come with some interesting problems, but a few hours of flipping and rotating bricks later, and we had all of the vehicles, and most, 
of the minifigs too. Next up we have the tracks. The track models come as GDB files which Unity does not support and in fact Blender also doesn't support it as it's not a typical 3D model file extension. But in 2014 Grappish Govert with the help of Will Kirby and Slusa were able to create a program to convert these GDB files into PLY models, an extension that Blender can read. So after I imported these PLY files into Blender and with a little bit of touch up work we were able to export these tracks as FBX files and drop them straight into Unity. Here's what the test track looks like. I'll add in a kill zone beneath each maps in case any of the racers manage to get out of bounds. The last thing to do was to create a vehicle controller and put it onto the LEGO vehicle and we're finally ready to drive within our test map. Next I'll add in the first four tracks from the Captain Redbeard circuit along with fixing together some UI elements like lap count with best lap time, a mini map, racer position and leaderboards. I also quickly fixed together some bot racers. They're easily beaten and don't account for shortcuts in the map but it's something I can build upon later. Anyway, here's a sped up video on how the first circuit plays out. <laughs>
But that's it for this video, next time I'll be adding in multiplayer and implementing the missing maps and getting started on the map shortcuts and item boxes. 